wabarakatuh um, So welcome back to my channel The media that I've chosen Actually it's a poster By Lord Kitchener um, It's saying that I want you So have you guys seen the poster yet? Okay, it's just a very simple poster A man, a very A man with a very fierce face A very white moustache And a pointing finger that he's saying that I want you, yes you it's like when people met uh, Kitchener, Lord Kitchener, they tend to like, um, th that person will be like, they strike you, he strike you with this kind of eyes. The impact of this poster is the least drawing of Kitchener uh, was the most famous image uh, used in British, Academy, British Army recruitment and campaign for World War I. Of World War I. It continues to be considered uh, a masterful piece of wartime propaganda as well as an enduring and iconic image of the war. Somehow the poster, yes, the first aiming was to recruit people and it's actually um, a successful poster. Um, only, only a very simple poster but it's very successful because um, they, uh, they have recruited, uh, bring more than a million men into the army. And the Lord uh, Kishiri is confident that this appeal will be at once responded by all those who have the safety uh, of our empire in the heart. And the most biggest impact was in, in this poster. Even it's just a poster, but it's a very, it, it brings um, a very big impact and also it influences a lot of people. The poster is appealing to recruits are to be seen on every hoarding, the um, in most windows, in omnibuses, I'm sorry, in omnibuses, tram cars and commercial events. The great base of Nelson's column is covered with them. Their number and variety are are remarkable. In social, of course, we have our we have our own kind of social life. And back then the kind of social life is great smoking cigarettes and the poster she was influenced by a cigar box uh, the american cigar five seat american cigar i'll insert the picture later okay yeah in social um somehow the poster was influenced by a cigar box and have you guys ever wonder um you, you guys must be very surprised how can the poster was influenced by a cigar box but this one based on the research i did everything that in the poster the white mustache the finger the eyes it actually meant something um in culture they actually related to religion um both in religious ritual and imaginary imagery they supply the most telling expression of elemental impulse somehow they can be transmitted and transformed and restored to a new and vigorous life here's a guy named um, Anna Tonello um, who was deeply interested in the works of contemporary Flemish painters like Patrice Citrus, Citrus of Hans Mamlik I'll insert the picture later uh, yeah okay the fingers the appearance of fingers from the surface uh, and the thunder boot seems to stand out from the picture um, it's like this um, the picture um, is just like I want you so it's the appearance of him projecting from the surface and it's actually it meant it to you uh, it means like I want you and somehow everything that I've stated all the gestures all the hand gestures all the hand position actually has um, a very special meaning very special relationship um, to it tell us about something and then um, this the poster the Lord Kitchener poster was influenced uh, by the Christ by the posters uh, that Michelangelo um, painted and somehow um, the painting was very great and it was exposed to the British Museum of Art because of the idea of the painting. The Neplatonic idea was a very great idea and people, they, they, like, they really like um, the painting. And um, somehow, can we in interpret Kitchen's pointing finger as a secular um, foreshortened uh, vision of Jesus' horizontal gestures um, in their painting, in their uh, super painting? Um, after all, in both cases, we have a call, a call to arms, um, a religious call. Um, somehow, this is related and it's actually linked. So, in global, in the um, post-war era, um, the poster somehow, inf like I said before, the poster influenced a lot of people, and and up, like immediately after the war, or less revolutions of 
the Kitchener poster were made in Italy, Hungary and Germany in the United States, the Soviet Union, Aldor Kitchener reappeared, disguised as respectively Uncle Sam and Trotsky. Even Uncle Sam, they have um uh, I'm sorry, they have a similar poster like Lord Kitchener's. It says, I want you. In 1997, it was it was such a long period from 1914 to 1997, the British army substituting the uh, face of the face of Lord Kitchener's with, with a non-commissioned British army and but somehow the poster got criticized by in the ethic uh, of the media if the media war actually it was an um, influenced a uh, but actually, Liz was influenced by a cigar box. I'm sorry, but uh, Liz was influenced by a cigar box, and somehow, can you guys see? Somehow, it's a plagiarizing because the poster it actually resembles the Lord Kitchener's poster, although the poster is very great and it's a very successful poster. But we can't deny the original poster, the originality of the poster, which is the cigar box. And also as and also as we know plagiarizing is not is not a very simple thing it's like a very big matter and it's, that that's why you can got criticized because you're plagiarizing something and also for the young men during that time they tend when after they might be after they uh they read they found the poster they might be oh this is the right thing to do um if i want to get freedom if i want to be free from my family but actually but at the same time, yes, it's a good thing to do. But at the same time, it actually has pros and cons. When they went for a war, where the family, actually, they were losing their loved ones. They were losing, um, they might be the head of the family. So from that, the family tend to blame the Lord Kitcheners. Uh, by uh, posting a very simple poster, but somehow he he kept uh, to recruit a lot of men, um, a lot of people to save the country. The poster even famous until now. So I think he did a very great job. So I think that's all for me and thank you for listening. I just want to share my knowledge with all of you. Um, don't forget to subscribe my channel and um, and I really hope that you guys um, like this video. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Assalamualaikum.